So this video is going to be a little bit different than what I'm used to doing, but I wanted to kind of make a video talking about this real quick. Now, I don't get into talking about religion or politics or media or anything like that, but I saw a story the other day and it was an unfortunate situation, but in my personal opinion, I agreed with the way it was handled. <clears throat> well, I saw a picture that a, I believe he's a news reporter or news anchor, whatever it is, posted this picture online with the caption and it just had me shaking my head. Now, some of you may have already seen this article or this story or heard something about it. There was a man in Louisville, um, Kentucky, who was in his home. They just moved in the house like two weeks prior to this incident happening. And him and his wife were in the room and their daughter sent a, a text message saying, there's a man in my room. And she hid under the blankets and first off, I just thought that, that that little girl was just brave, you know, for her not to panic and freak out. Like, I can only imagine being in a situation like that, like just such a brave person to keep her composure and to get that message out in order to get the help that she needed. So she sent the message out, alerts her parents, parents get up and then go to try to see what's going on. And they find a 38 year old male, one of their neighbors with his pants off in the in the kitchen, right? And he'd already taken off his clothes in the in the 12 year old girl's room. So the father confronts the man and they start to fight and they start to tussle him, whatever. During the midst of this whole situation, the father, the homeowner, um, ends up with a pistol or with a gun and ends up shooting this guy six times. Now, I agree with that 100% personally. That's just my opinion. You come into my house, I'm willing to do any and everything I have to do to protect myself, my property, and especially my family. And in this instance, especially a 12 year old girl. So I'm good with that hundred percent. What I don't agree with, I'm gonna show you guys this picture right here. What I don't agree with about this picture is if you pay attention and I will show it to you again, I'll leave it up longer so you guys can see it is the news article says a stranger went into a house. Well, you're not a stranger at that point. For one, he's a pedophile. He's, he's been convicted of a sexual crime in the past already, so that's proven. Not to mention he was taken off his pants in a 12-year-old girl's room. You can only imagine what that individual's intentions are. So I was a little bit frustrated. Well, I, I don't even wanna say a little bit. I was a lot frustrated with that situation and with that line in itself, a stranger. A stranger is somebody that you pass in the street that you haven't met. A man who is in your house, uninvited, taking off his pants in your daughter's room, we're far beyond being a stranger. You're a pedophile, you're a burglar, you're a bunch of things. You're not just a stranger. So that had me frustrated. The second thing that had me frustrated in this whole deal was after it talks about the homeowner did this and that it says you know it, it mentions something in there like now we're going to hear from the shooter or this is what the shooter said you're telling me this man this dad this hero as far as i'm concerned doing what he had to do to protect himself his family and his property you're going to call him the shooter really that's what you're focusing in on now i'm not going to make this a race issue i'm not going to make this uh, an agenda issue i don't know I mean, I don't, I don't know what you guys make of it. I have my own personal opinions, but I'm going to keep most of that to myself. I can just tell you that I was frustrated with that situation. To call this pedophile a stranger, to try to make it sound nice. But then the man who did something right, to call him the shooter. I don't know if there's an agenda out there. I don't know if that's what these people are trying to push. I don't know if it's a ratings thing. I really don't know. I'm not in politics. I'm not in media. So I can't tell you the behind the scenes deal. What I can tell you is that it's frustrating as hell. I'm a police officer, for those of you who don't know that, and it frustrates me when I see the news put out a story and they try to flip it. Oh, let's make the bad guy sound innocent and let's make the good guy sound like they did something wrong or let's put it in question. You know, is what they did right, is what they did wrong. I'm not here to say that every situation that the good guy is the good guy or the bad guy is the bad guy. I get that there's other things that come into it. There's different dynamics in every situation, but it frustrates me when there's a clear cut case 
of this man was doing everything within his legal right to protect his home and we want to call him the shooter and the man who had no legal right to be there and especially no legal right to be undressing in the 12 year old girl's room we're going to call him a stranger because that sounds nice again this is not the type of video that i put out i want to bring you guys more content I talk to people all the time as far as like on a personal level about media and stuff. And I'm not one to watch the news. I'm really not. I've been overseas and I've seen things happen right in front of me. And then I've seen the way it's portrayed on the news. And I'm like, it was nothing like that. That's not what it is at all. And it's similar to some of the stuff that I do now as a police officer, even in local media, in, in mainstream media. There's certain things that we do, certain things that happen for certain reasons. And it's portrayed as like, oh, well. They did this again, or they did that again. And that's not necessarily what I'm trying to get into, but that's what's frustrating, is the people that are in control of putting out this information are just not putting out the correct information. And unfortunately, we have a whole generation and a whole group of people who the only thing they know is the random little news feeds that they get on Facebook, you know, whatever little headline pops up. And a lot of us, don't like to read the entire story. So all you get is a summarized version within that headline to try to get their point across. And when you read a stranger was shot and they say the shooter, you're not getting the full story. And it, it, it drives me insane. Like I said, it's like that for a bunch of different things, but this is the latest one that I saw this picture and it just, I, I was literally just shaking my head. Like I couldn't believe what I was reading. So. My personal opinion, shout out to the dad um, for doing what he had to do to protect his family. I like to think that in that situation, I would do the same exact thing to ensure that my family is protected. And to the media or, or the individual that put this message out there like that, shame on you, man. That's messed up. This man was doing nothing wrong in his home, protecting his house, protecting his family. And you want to call him the shooter. But the pedophile, oh, the stranger. It's ridiculous, man. Let me know what you guys think of this. Do y'all want to hear my thoughts on more stuff? Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about this. Does this bother you or am I just crazy? But comment down below. Thank you guys for checking this video out. And I'll see you on the next one.